Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly grocery haul. I am um, filming this intro post the shopping, so I know what's ahead for you. Um, it's also the next day. So I'm gonna share with you a little bit into Lidl and then a little bit more into Aldi, pretty much just the Aldi finds. I didn't take you through the rest of the store. I ended up being in a rush because I do that to myself a lot. I didn't have a lot of food that I needed to pick up um, this week because we had our big Sam's Club haul. If you missed that last week's video, I will have that linked for you. I stocked up on a lot of meat at Sam's Club. We just got a membership there. And then I did my regular grocery shopping as well. So I didn't eat a lot, but I did take you in the store. So let's go back to yesterday. We'll do Lidl, Aldi, and then I'll share with you my haul. All right, into Lidl for just a few things. I already have some fruit at home, just looking for any sales. But I already have apples and oranges, so we're gonna move pretty quick. So we're gonna move really quick through Lidl. Hopefully I can take a little more time in um, Aldi. But one thing I wanted was to grab a pair of men's slides. These are the ladies. So here we go, men's slides. All right, that was the one thing I was coming in to look for that was like their special fine type stuff. We just like to keep those by the doors. I've said it a million times. I'm always looking for them at a good price. Fingertip towels. I think I accidentally picked these up one time and they were not labeled fingertip towels, but it's about all they're good for. It, they have a, if you can see, there's several aisles. It's like the Ollie Fine, but it's much bigger. I'm gonna take a quick, look sorry i'm not really taking the time to show you things here but i am hoping to be able to do that at aldi well, i don't even know if i have time to walk down all these but i am going to here's a few things that have been marked it down that's not bad i don't really need one of those but 559 I feel like picking through all of that. I like, do like to keep an eye on like kitchen items. Got lots of clothing, jackets, fleeces, socks, sweatshirts, hoodies, shoes. There's all the kitchen stuff. I'm really not a kitchen gadget person, but every once in a while I find something that's useful. More clothing. I have not really, I don't know if I've ever successfully bought any clothing from Lidl. I've gotten a couple things from Aldi before. All right, so I'm in Aldi. I'm just gonna stick to the Aldi finds aisle because I am in a little bit of a hurry. This always happens when I try to fit too much into one day. A lot of the stuff I have already seen and shared. Um, I don't believe I saw this before, this large plant in the vase. It's really pretty and I feel like it's pretty good quality for $14.99. These woven runners are $9.99. Some nice colors. Really nice throws. I love these sweater like ones. These are $19.99. I don't know what the washing instructions are on them though. That's always a big factor for me. It says it's machine washable. I know that off, I know not that awful long ago, I said no to the cast iron, but I actually am getting one of these skillets, $9.99. I'm gonna give it a try, even though that means I have to learn how to cook again. I do have some fun summer stuff um, on clearance. So if you have a pool and you just wanna pick them up for next year, lots of fun things, but most of the stuff we've seen many times. So let's head to the next portion. So this portion seems to all be food related. 
This is more the home stuff. Decorative ottoman for $14.99. Comforter sets, $39.99. Area rug, they've only got two left, but they're $50. Console table is fifty dollars. These cute little signs are twelve ninety nine. I'm not sure if they're reversible. They are, but I can't really get to the other side. Oh, here we go. So there's the two. This one is the same. Maybe it's just. Oh no, here's another option. Hang on. There's another option here. So, not bad, $12.99. Heated mattress pad, $49.99. We had one of those. Um, it doesn't work on our bed anymore, so I gave it to somebody, but we loved that. When we lived in New York State, which was most of our lives, our house had no heat in the master bedroom. Don't know how to explain that, but a heated mattress pad came in very handy. <laughs> Oh goodness, decorative rugs for $30. There's a couple little patterns there and a faux fur rug for $50. A, an accessory shelf. That's a nice looking one with the wood is fun and they've also got the black rack or the white rack for $14.99. Here's a um, garment rack, that's $14.99. Let's see here. This is a foldable work table with oh, no price. So there's that. Some slippers for $7.99. Me um, men's are $6.99. Some joggers, men's sleep pants. Again, the site is all, all food and not really seasonal food. I mean, there's a few pumpkin things, but there's also just like normal stuff. So we got some kids socks. We got a ladies Sherpa pullover for $12.99. Pretty colors. I don't really love the feel. I mean, it's soft, but I don't love the feel of that. Men's reversible belt for $8.99. My husband used to have a reversible belt and he loved that. But I have no idea what his belt situation is, so I'm not going to pick one up. Towels, hairbrush. These are, this is a nice bamboo pantry organizer. It's a uh, Lazy Susan. Like it's on a turn style, but that would be very handy. I'm trying to think if there's a spot I need one of those because that's really nice too it's pretty which is always fun when something practical is pretty yeah all sorts of bamboo bamboo towel rack bamboo canister set $9.99 and $12.99 sorry if I'm not showing you all the prices I'm trying bamboo bathroom accessories got the toilet brush the waste bin those are $9.99 each sorry I feel like I just pulled up a an accent we've got these I'm trying to see what they look like. Okay, it's this way. Pantry bins, two packets. Looks like you get, well, it looks like you get one big one and two small ones for $9.99. That's not a bad price. They're very nice and they're nice and sturdy. I have baskets in my pantry. Um, granted, they were at the dollar from the Dollar Tree, but lately they're slowly like breaking when I go to pull them out. <laughs> they're still usable, but they are breaking. And then we've got these canisters with lids. This is pretty, the bamboo stuff. Apparently that is really in. I don't know what exactly. So this one's like a little tiny side table with drawers. It says it's a bamboo tower, but this would be a cute little nightstand. And if you had like a small space, I don't know the price on that or the price on this little caddy. This would be cute like in a bathroom. If you like didn't have a lot of storage and you just didn't have a lot of space either, um, trying to put this back. Okay, um, both of those are really cute. I just don't have a price. Oh, never mind. Twenty four ninety nine. 
for either one of these. All right, so moving on to our haul from Lidl, I picked up some pears and tomatoes. We already have carrots and celery and onion at home. And I'll mention a couple other things in a minute. Um, Fruit-wise, we already have some oranges and apples. So I didn't need a ton. I picked up some laundry detergent and some dish pads. Just been trying to build up a little bit of a stack on that. Just, I don't know. I'm like a squirrel preparing for winter. I don't know. I live in North Carolina, but I used to live in New York. So I'm used to like preparing for the winter. I picked up some blocks of cheese. Uh, Lidl has the white sharp cheddar, which is my favorite. Aldi does not carry that anymore. Picked up this pair of men's slides. We just like to keep these around the house. We don't wear shoes in the house, but we have the garage and we have the back patio. And so I just like to keep some slides by the doors so that we don't have to like go and grab our shoes. Um, so pick those up. Those are only $4.99. And then at Aldi, I picked up a box of tissues because I always do. Some Raymond. We don't eat the Raymond like with the seasoning, but I do use those noodles in some like stir fry dishes. So needed some more of those. Some more chicken broth. Been trying to build up some of that. I only have... A little bit in the pantry. Some pork rinds. My husband enjoys these as a snack. Picked up some more sliced cheese, Munster, and some Swiss. There's a little bit of a glare there. I picked up a cast iron pan. I know I said once that I was not interested in learning how to cook with cast iron, and I'm eating my words. So we're going to give this a try. Um, I am staying away from any like coated pans, uh, like nonstick coating pans in um, aluminum in my kitchen for health reasons, and so I am going to give this a try. I'm gonna just try to learn. And I got some of these baby hole pickles. These are really, really good. And so my husband requested more of those. I picked up this to see if my husband would like to try this for his sandwiches. It's, it says it's a dressing, but it's an oil and vinegar dressing, and the rest of the ingredients were pretty good. Um, for like, we are, we're making our own. He makes sandwiches, like subs every day almost every day for lunch now that he works from home. And um, so I was like, well, this is pretty close to what we were making. So I thought I'd give that, get that for him to give, it, to give it a try. Some maple syrup. I'm really kicking myself for not getting a big thing of this at Sam's Club when we were there. That was on my list and I didn't get it. And our Sam's Club is not super conveniently located. I picked up some sourdough bread. This is for me. We actually may end up having this dinner tonight but I got this instead of getting English muffins this week for my breakfast and then I got a couple boxes of pierogies because I've just been really enjoying these so I don't have a lot of like prepared stuff but this is something I do have and I bought more of them so two boxes for the freezer earlier this week my husband did go to the store for himself and picked up some rolls for his sandwiches, some rye bread, which he used a little bit of, but we put the rest of it in the freezer so he can just pull it out when he wants it. And he also picked up some roast beef from the deli. So I didn't need to pick up those things. I will probably need to pick up some more lettuce for sandwiches in a couple of days, but I didn't need it quite yet. And I didn't want to buy it too prematurely. And also a single red onion. Um, he likes those for his sandwiches. We have other onions, but he wanted the red onion and Lidl and Aldi don't sell the individuals. So those will be picked up at some point for a quick little haul, but for the most part, that's it. Didn't eat a lot this week. Even with me trying to build our supply, our stock, build up our pantry, whatever you want to call it, I still didn't really need much. So that's it for today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.